Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and there are some fantastic announcements this week including AWS IoT Events is now available, Host Recovery is now available for EC2, Amazon API Gateway now supports VPC endpoint policies, last week we saw the very first ever ReMars event, Ryan and Sam will be attending the DC Summit and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. AWS IoT Events is now available, and if you haven't heard the term IoT before, it stands for Internet of Things. So think home automation products, as well as industrial applications like smart manufacturing systems and asset tracking. And IoT Events is a new service which enables you to detect and respond to changes picked up by your IoT sensors, such as a malfunction or a stuck conveyor belt or any slowdown in production output and then automatically trigger an action using Lambda or send an alert using SNS. And this is currently available in four regions, North Virginia, Ohio, Oregon, and Ireland, with more to follow. Host recovery is now available for EC2 dedicated hosts. And if you haven't used a dedicated host before, it's an EC2 instance, which is a physical server, and it's fully dedicated for your use only, allowing you to launch EC2 instances and place them on your own dedicated server. And they are often used to address compliance requirements where you're not allowed to share hardware with anyone else. So this new announcement means that in the event of an unexpected hardware failure on a dedicated host, your instance will automatically restart on another dedicated host. And this is great because it reduces the need for manual intervention, minimizing recovery time and lowering operational burdens for instances running on dedicated hosts. Amazon API Gateway now allows you to define VPC endpoint policies enabling you to specify which private APIs a VPC endpoint can connect to. And if you haven't used API Gateway before, it's a service which allows you to expose REST and WebSocket APIs for applications running in AWS. And VPC endpoints are used to enable access to AWS services using Amazon's internal network called AWS Private Link, and this enables AWS-based services to communicate with each other without sending any traffic over the public internet. So using VPC endpoint policies, you can achieve a far more fine-grained security control by defining which of your APIs a VPC endpoint is allowed to access. Last week saw the very first ever Remars conference, which focuses on machine learning, automation, robotics, and space and it was hosted by Amazon CEO and founder Jeff Bezos. And one of the first really cool announcements to come from Remars is that you will soon be able to have a full-on conversation with Alexa. And this new feature is called Alexa Conversations and it is AI driven. And we think this is gonna be so much fun as well as being great for shopping apps, booking apps, personal assistant apps, and you can apply for the preview mode right now. Ryan and Sam will be attending the DC Summit on June the 11th and 12th, and Ryan will also be judging the Hackathon for Good, which is taking place on Monday the 10th, so if you would like to take part, registration is open right now. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was C, and loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Chimbu Chinadurai, and Chimbu is a DevOps engineer at Tartar Consultancy Services in Bracknell. So congratulations, Chimbu. There is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card on the way to you in the post, and you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.